Yo, what is going on guys? Bassin' at TV back bringing you another video for today. Um, today we are going to be talking about soft plastics. What you should be using in early spring, throughout the whole summer, and yeah, and just ways to catch 10, 10 times more bass, excuse me. Um, so let me go grab my tackle box and I'll show you everything I have. All right, y'all. So this is everything I got right here. This is all I use. This is a little bass kit. You can get it at Walmart. It's like 10 bucks. Um, and let's open it up and I'll show you what I have up in here. Don't mind those. I got three odd extra wide gap hooks. Um, don't mind my lighter string, but this is all that comes in it. See if I can move the camera for you guys so you can see. That's all that's in there. Um, so first off, let's just start out. You got a green soft plastic with red and black flakes. This is killer in a green pond. Um, little piece of device that I wish I knew before going fishing and starting fishing when I was about nine or 10 is, is if the pond that you are fishing is green. Let's just say it's a light green. Throw a dark green worm, which is in this case, it's like this. On a sunny day, on a sunny day right here. If the pond's a dark blue, or a, uh, sorry, excuse me, a light blue, throw a dark blue worm. This is just a dark blue with light blue flakes. Um, if the fishing is hard to get to, excuse me, not, not hard to get to, but if the pond fishing or lake fishing, uh, river fishing, any type of fishing like that. If any of that's hard to, oh, excuse me. If it's anything is hard to fish, I recommend one of these shaky head worms. That's just, that's just me. Um, and uh, you could be different. You could throw whatever, really throw whatever you want to. There's no rules to fishing guys. This is just my advice to you. I do live in Raleigh, North Carolina, so fishing may be different where you guys are, like uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Florida, anything like that. Um, next, we're gonna talk about the blue curly tail worm. It's just blue worm with a curly tail at the end. You guys know that. Um, this worm specifically, I have caught monsters on. I've caught absolute giants, like 10 pounds on this thing on this soft plastic um and the way to work this bait y'all let me get these hooks open i don't know why i struggled with that but um yeah so you can take your hook there's a three odd extra wide gap hook the way to texas rig if y'all didn't know i'm just this is a texas rig soft plastic video um go to the end of the hook point stop at the top break it through so break it through just like that, or the hook is exposed. You know, you see that. Slide it all the way up. This is just the way I do it. Anybody else could be different, um, but this is just the way I do it. Take it, poke it through to where just the bare tip is at the length, is poking out. Um, and then slide the bait all the way up. The hooks, the thing's gonna come off. There, you have it just like that. Take it. And wherever the very uh, end of this right here is, of the end of the hook, is where you're going to want to puncture it. So just bring it down without hooking yourself. I've hooked myself many times doing this. Poke it through. There you go. Now it's weedless. So this right here, just this setup right here, I've caught so many monsters on. And I'm talking 10 plus pounders, guys. Um, so that's not the, really the right way you take it off, but we're just going to take it off that way. Um, put all these hooks back. Um, so yeah, guys, next bait we are going to talk about is this little green lizard right here. Just the standard little green lizard with a little head on it and a little uh, curly tail. You're going to do Texas rig that the same way. I have caught an eight pound on this bait alone, okay? Just on this bait alone. And any of these, by the way, guys, you could put on, this right here, y'all, is just a little jig head. 
uh, black and blue jig head with a, a football head on it. Um, you could put these, you could put these right here on as a trailer. You could put these on as a trailer, these on as a trailer, just any baits or these two right here. You could put any kind on for a trailer. Um, I recommend curly tails or these right here. This is just a standard rage crawl, just green and with red sparkles rage crawl. Um, you could put that on there, but this right here, just this setup alone right here. Let me show you how I rig it. You normally gotta push those the spokes down. So you better get to the hook. Poke it all the way up. Just this setup right here, y'all. Just this little setup will get you monsters. Ain't no baby bass gonna eat this. There ain't no baby bass gonna eat that right there. Um, always gonna be a jig. I mean, always gonna be big bass, like five, six, seven, eight pounders with a big mouth that can get their whole mouth around this bait. You know? Uh, plus, you have a little trailer on it. Um, but like I said, y'all, that right there alone has just caught me some good fish. This... Um, Bait or all these baits have caught me very, very, very good fish. Like I have my scale right here. Um, we cut the scale on. Um, wait for it to load. So it should you should be able to why in it? Okay, yeah, see, 13 ounce, two pound or four pounds, two ounces. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had this long, 12 ounces, a pound and a half, a pound and a quarter, one pound, I've caught a one ounce fish. Um, Yeah, y'all, this is just, like I said, this is just uh, me showing y'all what fish I've caught and on what baits right here. So let's turn this back off. Um, so yeah, y'all, this basket is just, it's literally called Basket by Yum. Um, all the pros use this in bass tournaments. Like I said, it's 10 bucks at Walmart. This is not advertised, sponsored, or anything like that. This is just what I use. Um, some more soft plastics I use. Some Zoom white fluke. Just a regular standard white fluke. Y'all should all know about that by now. My buddy actually made these two types of worms right here shaky head worms one is just a standard yellow shark truce color sort of he should have put a, a white line on each side and that would have gave it some more shark truce vibes then you have this white one with blue <coughs> <coughs> excuse me guys this white shaky head worm with blue and black flakes in it this right here has been killer lately um, and thank you, Ethan, for the, uh, whole thing of baits you gave me. Um, apparently you don't want them back. So, um, yeah, guys, like I said, this right here, killer. This, uh, fluke right here, as you can tell, only got one left, killer. I actually think it's been punctured before already. My bad, y'all, my bad. My bad again, y'all. <coughs> And let me tell y'all, this bait right here, just the standard green, black, and red flakes in it, has been absolutely killer. I cannot stress that enough, y'all. That is, it has been killer lately. Um, yeah, it, it's just, it's caught me some pretty good sized fish. Um, but if you're looking to catch some of the big ones, then I recommend this uh, <coughs> 3 8 jig head, little football jig. Um, with this, I'll have a whole tutorial tomorrow or Sun. no, what's today? Today's Friday, so probably Monday or Tuesday of next week, just estimating a tutorial on how to work this bait, 
fish to spate, where to cast it, when to cast it, when the time's perfect, and all that. Same thing with all these soft plastics that I seen or that y'all seen in my box. I will leave I will leave links and everything like that for everything I've shown you in this video. But I will do tutorials on everything of um all these baits and everything. Um yeah, y'all. Uh so this right here, you know, little standard rage crawl. You got two two um pinchers on it, and then you have these little two things right here. I break these off to where they're fluttering in the water. Just give it a little bit more movement, y'all. That's what I always do. I haven't done it to this new pack yet, but that's just, that's what I do. Just to give it a little bit more movement and more action in the water. Um. So yeah, y'all, if you've enjoyed today's video and I got all these hooks right here that I need to put down and back in my bass box. Um. But yeah, y'all, if y'all like this video, if y'all enjoyed it, um, if this is something y'all need to meet it, needed to hear and everything that's great y'all drop a comment down below on what videos y'all want to see next um so until then so until then y'all take care and we'll talk to you in the next video of bassinet tv peace